Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and in this video, I wanted to bring to you uh, one of the easy solutions to some of the Google Capture the Flag CTF that uh, got started this weekend. It was going on from, I think, April 29th to May 1st, I think. Uh, it was their first annual Google CTF, so a lot of people seemed like they were jumping in on it, and I was one of them. The challenge I wanted to show you is Ernst Echidna. It was only worth 50 points. It wasn't really a big challenge, and a lot of people solved it. 737 people were able to get this one. So it's a pretty simple challenge, but I want to just walk you through it and build a, a quick get flag script for you. So uh, here we go. Can you hack this website? The robots.txt sure looks interesting. Hmm, okay. Let's take a look at this. And uh, it says, Welcome to Strawberry Tea. Access to the store is restricted. Okay, please register to get access. Whatever. Uh, let's check out that robots.txt that they were hinting at. Robots.txt. And it does not want us to go to the admin page. Okay, well, what is over there? Let's check that one out. Forward slash admin. And it tells us, oh, we're not logged in. Fine. I guess we will uh, go back and now try and log in and register. Okay. So if we can register for account, it's just it's pretty simple username and password field. There's nothing interesting in here. If you take a look at the source, there's nothing hidden. There's nothing hidden in the old page. There's, It's just plain, straight HTML. So if we register, I guess we'll just do some stuff. Uh, I don't know. Just to fill stuff out, let's go for the purposes of explanation. A and B as our username and password were registered. Thank you for registering. Unfortunately, there's no content. That's fine. Can we get to our admin page now? That's really all we care about, right? Okay. Sorry, this interface is restricted to administrators only. Well, dang, that's annoying. Thank you for registering. Unfortunately, there's been no content posted on this site. Okay, how's it keeping track of the fact that I am registered and logged in? That's probably done with a cookie, right? So, I mean, you can uh, view cookies in Firefox with, like, Cookie Manager. It's a cool plugin. Uh, if you don't already have it, I totally recommend you grab it, because I'm going to use that to take a look at what we have here. I'm going to fire up cookie manager as the actual tool not the Google search my bad and we want to be looking at our website Ernst Echidna is a challenge that we're looking at right now and it has a cookie it has a cookie set for us MD5 hash looks like right hopefully you guys can see this I'm sorry if it's too small I can't really zoom in on this okay so it's MD5 hash cookie has a value that I'm assuming just based off its name is an MD5 hash um now, MD5 is pretty much well-known for being pretty weak, so I wonder if we can hack it. I wonder if we can crack that or find a collision for this uh, MD5 hash. So I just Googled MD5 cracker, and md5cracker.org was a good one that I ended up using. Um, so I threw my hash in there, and whoa, a lot of people told me that it has the result of just simple A. And that's what we just put in the, as our username. You see? Do you remember when we log when we registered as A as our username and B as our password? So it looked like all it really did was MD5 hash our username. So can we have it kind of fool can we fool the web page into thinking that I am the administrator? Let's delete our current cookie. I'll just remove that. Now, if I go to the page, it looks like I have to register. Can I log in? Can I register as admin? Okay, admin account already taken. Oh, well, okay. Dang. But what's to stop us from like changing our changing our cookie already that we already have? So if we fire up Cookie Manager one more time, our MD5 hash, which is currently the MD5 hash of the letter A, our username, let's actually create our own MD5 hash of the word admin of that admin user, and can we just set this to be it? Right? Can we set this to be uh, our cookie? Do I have a... Uh... Alright, I still have it. I still have it up. Good. Let's go into Cookie Manager. Change the value of our MD5 hash cookie to now the MD5 hash of the username admin. Save it. Refresh the page. There's nothing new here, but now if I go to admin... Hey, hey! That admin page now lets us come on in, and it says, Hey, congratulations, your token is this flag. Cool! So we just got the flag, right? We'd be, we would be able to submit this, but uh, some of you guys may know I don't really like just leaving it at that. I'd like to be able to script this or automate getting the flag for us. So let's go ahead and start to build something that will let us do that. Fire up Sublime Text, get a new script going. I guess in Google CTF, I have a 
I'll just create a git flag.py script for us. I'll try and zoom in here so you can see it. Get a shebang line going. Let's import re. Um, I'm sorry, our requests. <laughs> And let's import hashlib, so we'll actually use that to MD5 stuff. We'll say username equals admin, because that's what we want. MD5 can equal hashlib.md5, just to create our MD5 object. Um, so md5.update with username, and then um, MD5, I guess, hash which is what we'll set the value of the cookie, can be equal to that MD5 object's hex digest. So once it actually gets the digest of this uh, username admin, and once it hashes the word admin, MD5 underscore hash, now we see, okay, we've successfully hashed MD5. Now let's actually make that call. Let's get a request object open. We can just say s equals request.session, s.cookies. If, we, if I were to show you that, currently it is just an empty cookie jar. Let's actually update that. I'll remove this print statement with a new dictionary for the string md5 hash. Set it to our md5 hash that we've actually, that is actually the hash. Now if we were to print out s.cookies, you should be able to see, oh, okay, cool, md5 hash is actually a cookie in there. That's just fine. So now we should be able to run s.get on our admin page. If we try and run this, I can print it out. It does have an error because we need to verify the SSL certificate. I'm going to ignore that. So we can do that with uh, verify equals false. Probably not the best idea, but it does get to what we wanted to. It gets a response 200, so let's save that as r. We can print out r.text. Here we go. Okay, cool. Congratulations, your token is. And let's just scrape that out with regular expressions. Um, content can equal that. And then what is it that we're trying to find? re.search. Re All right, matched equals re.search. Pattern will be CTF anything in here. And let's escape these out. And we'll find that in our contents. So if matched print matched dot groups. What do we get here? Nothing. I might not need to have these. Congratulations, your token is CTF. That should totally work. Do I need to like escape my uh, asterisk here too? Here, I'll pause this so I can get it right for you. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm dumb. I completely forgot about the fact that I just actually needed to put the inside of the flag, like, in parentheses. Or the actual, like, whole thing. Okay. My fail. So, yeah, CTF, and then the flag format is this curly braces. And you can just denote that, hey, I actually want this as part of a found group. So if I just left it... Okay, now it should work. Cool. Very nice. Uh, I don't know how I can hide that uh, security warning. Let's do some research and find that. Again, I'm kind of going off, off the cuff right now. I probably shouldn't be doing this much research <laughs> and like doing things that I don't have scripted or at least I don't have prepared. But requests ignore a warning. Python requests ignore insecure requests warning. Is there a way to suppress that? Looks like there's just this line. Okay. 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> Stole that off the internet. No big deal. Copy and paste. Copy and paste code off Stack Overflow. That's good. That's good programming practice, right? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, sure. Real simple thing. Just to uh, get flag. Uh, let's make this executable. Let's see Google. Ernst executable. chmod plus x. Get flag.py. Okay, and that, that gets our flag for us. Sweet. We're done. I'm, I I spent too much time on this problem trying to show you something very, very simple, but it was a lot of fun. So thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed this real simple uh, part of Google CTF. Really, really cool CTF. I didn't get a whole lot of challenges, but it was a ton of fun. So thanks again, guys. See you in a next later video.